Using the touchscreen or the buttons on the control panel, the optometrist is easily able to run through their subjective refraction routine. They can choose to do a monocular refraction using the occluders just here, or a binocular refraction if they wish. Running through a quick routine now, I start off by just occluding over the left eye. Once we've done that, we can then move on to the lens meter data or our autorefractor data if we've inputted it from another device, or you may choose to do retinoscopy at this point. If so, click on the lens just here, and we've got our retinoscopy working distance lenses here. Once we're happy there, we can move on to the subjective button. Pressing subjective there, we can start by trying to refine our best vision sphere. And we can do that by selecting the smallest letters the patient is able to read, and then offering them 025 steps with and without, and asking which is better. Once we're happy that we've got their sphere as best we can, we'll move on to the duochrome test asking the patient whether the letters and the numbers appear clearer on the red or the green. Once we're happy, we we'll move on to the cross sill technique, starting off by trying to refine the axis. We're asking the patient whether the dots appear rounder and darker or clearer with option number one or option number two. And once we're happy, we can move on to refine the power in the same way, either by using the dial or by using the two options just here. Finally, we can come back to the letters, hopefully improving on what we had initially and getting the patient to read a little bit further down the chart, selecting individual lines using the arrows just here, and then that will record as a VA just here. Once we're happy with the first eye, we can move over to the other eye and repeat the process. Once we have a finalised distance prescription for both eyes, we can move on to our binocularity testing, and that may be our fixation disparity, or it may be binocular balancing by using the binocular balance function here. Once we're happy with our distance prescription, we can move on to check our near visual acuity using our add function here, and the reading rod attached to the top of the phoropter head.